up, what up? It's your boys, April Fool's Pod. We are back at it again, episode 93. It's 93. 93 till infinity, baby. Well, what's that behind us, bro? That is the April Fool's Bash 4 1 celebration. So, birthday bash. Revel. At Revel. The usual spot. April 1st, Saturday. Come celebrate with the boys. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have DJ Gonzo Supreme on the ones and twos. We're going to have a bunch of, uh, hopefully a bunch of you guys there. We're going to have a bunch of games. Um, there's always prizes, stuff to give away. Uh, my boy Riley's going to be doing another tattoo. Ooh, so you guys are looking okay. forward to that. So it's going to be awesome. Um, did Isaiah go get his tattoo yet? He did. Really? It looks good, yeah. Bro, we need to have him post it. You know, uh, we need to repost it. Yeah, we'll have to repost it. It's, it. It came out good, but it's like a... He went in there for like a a big tattoo, so it's it's a it's a couple sessions. So he's gonna end up doing. It, is it like a discounted one, or did he get? Yeah, it? he got it for. Well, he got whatever uh, Riley gave away. I thought it was so. like a two hundred dollar tattoo. Yeah, that's and he what wanted Riley a bigger gave away, one, but he wanted a bigger tattoo, so <laughs> oh, okay. he's just gonna pay the difference on it. So gotcha. That's shout true. out, shout oh, out Riley, shout out. shout out the boys, bro. That that that's awesome. But yeah, April first, be there. Birthday celebration. We can't wait to celebrate with all you guys. It's my dirty thirty. The dirty thirty. It's my dirty yeah. thirty. So. Be there, be square. It's gonna be a blast. Um, I can't wait. Do we have the uh, the um, the other flyers too? Yeah, oh, okay. those are up right here. We just let's just jump. Let's just yeah. throw that in there right now. We announced the first annual Make that big for April us, Fool's Pod Golf Tournament. Uh, April twenty second. April twenty second at Paradise Hills Golf Course. So um, make sure you guys get your teams in ASAP. We have about what? What do we have? Like sixteen already. Yeah. Pretty much in, so um, that's more than spots half are the going tournament. by fast. Yeah, so st- spots are going quick. So make sure you guys get in um, while you can. Um, but uh, we're uh, super excited. It's going to be going to the Heart Gallery of New Mexico Foundation. Um, they're uh, they focus. They help kids kind of rehabilitate uh, kids in COIFD or kids in foster care when they kind of get too old for foster care. Kind of try to like reintegrate them into society. So it's a good little foundation. Hundred um, percent of the proceeds will go to that. Uh, we should kind of run down the tiers and stuff. Yeah, now. yeah, we have them up. So, so it is kind of a lot of information next on those. Slide, we have on um, our team fee. So, of course, it's going to be 500 per team, teams of four. That includes two drink tickets, breakfast burritos, lunch, and you get a swag bag. So, you come with chapstick, yeah, you come with uh, some little like yeah, granola bars of and goodies, water and stuff. A bunch of cool stuff. So, make sure you guys get all that stuff locked in right away. It's going to be one of the biggest tournaments I've ever been to, for sure. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be cool. We just got a media team locked in, so it's going to be awesome. Me and Nico are going to be running around, interviewing everybody, so it's going to be really fun. Um, next tier is going to be our sponsorships. So what does the, the team win? Uh, team wins. The teams are going to win. The, we have a couple of prizes, but um, Paradise is going to give you guys a free round of golf, So and then there's a bunch of gift cards and stuff as well, so... Get locked in. Is there a way you could kind of zoom in a little bit on those? These are our platinum, and we could start at the uh, platinum, top, gold, kind of roll down. silver plus, and our silver sponsorships. Um, these are just a few of the, a few of them. Um, check them out. We have them on the Instagram as well, so you guys could take a look at them. And um, oh, sweet. yeah, so you'll be able to see them on our Instagram page. Uh, go check it out. Hit us up for some. Um, like we said, teams are going fast, so that gold sponsorship is going to run out here pretty soon. Yeah, that's, that's um, going to be our... Yeah, but we'll, we would love for you guys to be a part of this. It's for a great cause. Um, and again, it's going to be at the Paradise Hills Golf Course. We're super excited for this going on. So yeah. Let us know. <coughs> Next one. Yeah. So yeah, you could. There's a website up there, Heart Gallery, Heart Gallery NM Foundation org. If you want to go check out, see what they're about. Um, yeah, message either one of us or the podcast Instagram, or if you know our, our yeah. numbers, just hit us up, and uh, we'll get you guys locked in. Yeah, get those team fees in right away because that's how we're locking the teams in. So can't wait. Um, I cannot wait. That is, I'm more, I'm kind of more excited about that than our birthday. Me too. I don't. Like, I, I like forget that we even have a birthday. Yeah, right our birthday. Our birthday is coming up, and it's going to be fun. But this golf tournament is going to be huge. Like, it it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. So I'm excited. Make sure you guys are locked and ready to go for that. It's going to be so much fun. Let's get into the pod. Let's get into the pod. What do we got this week? What did you do this weekend, bro? Uh, I worked all weekend. It was a long weekend, bro. I'm long tired. Long weekend. I, yeah. My uh, allergies are fucking acting up. You called it. Oh, I told you, ago. bro. Oh, t- like summer the, hits. Yesterday midday, I was just like. Eyes are itchy. I don't. 
talking about it freaks me out. Yeah, dude. Sucks. So I'm telling you, summer spray. hits, and you know what that means. That means, ugh. Everything. Summer you allergies. get all the allergies, bro. That's at least me. Um, I've been waking up and just been consistent with a uh, allergy pill, so. Yeah, you gave me another one. It helped. Yeah. But then, it only ha- and they only one. help. Yeah, they last uh, for like an hour and a half. It says you could only take one every 24 hours. <laughs> like, well. Uh, how about every three hours? How about every, yeah, <laughs> three to six. We, um, uh. The Saturday was the fight, the Big John Jones. Big fight. John Jones fight. It was super quick. Like I, I said, what I say, under two and a half. John yes. Jones in under two and a half. That wasn't even a, that guy. He smoked him, man. Smoked him in the first the first round. We bootlegged it on my laptop. I had it at the bar. You got what kinds of was, viruses now? Now my yeah, my Big laptop's porn fried. Guy. Yeah, I guess every like, I get a notification every two. You're gonna two have seconds. to like clear shit, clear your cookies. Just, just re just restart it or something. But yeah. it's actually the, doing good right now. Clear the cookies out. Uh, but I was really glad I didn't pay for that. We paid for it, but you, got, you but you guys all got to watch. Yeah, like, we all, all got that, yeah like, the whole card. Yeah, we watched the whole card. But I was I was struggling all day Saturday. We went out, we went Friday. We went golfing. First game of the year. Paradise, yeah. Played. I played like shit. So, <laughs> got it out the way. I'm back. I figured it out in the back nine. So okay. we're back. All right. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just a long day, bro. Golfing, and then we went to, uh, we stayed at the office, had some drinks. Shout out Joe, Joe, Giovanni was there. Ooh, hooked shout the, out. Hooked the boys up. Oh, yeah. And then um, we went to Hooters, and then we went to the Boots and Bourbon, and then the library. Those, that, those places, we went around the whole city. The whole city, bro. <laughs> it was, yeah. The library? I don't know how it It was a library. day. It was way too long of a day. Not about it. Yep. And I was, I was out of commission the rest of the weekend. Good. And then Sunday. Oh, you had your softball game. Sunday, I had my first flag football game. Fuck, flag football. Went and played, had fun. It was a blast. Got home, played Hogwarts for like five hours Ooh. to like 6.30. And I like, I was getting kind of like sleepy playing Hogwarts. So I, I laid down and I, I put on a movie, literally 30 seconds of the movie, knocked out. Huh? Wake up at 11.30 at night. Okay. And the TV's on, turned the TV off, took my shirt off, and knocked again. For the rest woke, of the night. Woke up at 6 in the morning, bro. Ooh, good. 12 hours of sleep. Much needed. I haven't had to sleep like that in since Nam. Was it nice? Yeah, it was nice, dude. Good, good, good. Yeah. Uh, Hogwarts, are you getting good? Oh, Hogwarts is getting Are you leveling up? Really good, yeah. I hear if you have to use a Vada Kedavra at school, they'll come and... I, I don't have, I haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, you have to unlock you it? You have to unlock it. You, can't, you don't just get it. You have to just go through, you have to go through <sighs> missions and unlock it. All right, if anybody wants to buy me a uh, birthday present, it's a PS5. PS5 with Hogwarts. Or just, like, split it with me. I saw this thing um, that HBO is buying, like, the rights for Hogwarts, and they're going to make, like, a like a TV show. Oh, really? Yeah. So the, so the guy was, like, talking about it. He's like, just picture, like, Game of Thrones, but Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, that'd be... I wonder if it's going to be, like, the... Like either side stories or if it'll be after the fact. It'll be side. They're 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 taking it from the storyline of the game. Oh dang! Yeah. But so like, the game oh, has a actually... really good storyline. So it's like, if they made it a movie, it'd be crazy. It'd be good. Oh yeah, or even like a like like a series, like a TV series. When he said Game of Thrones and Harry Potter, dang. I was like, oh yeah. Perfect. That's exactly what I could see it happening. Speaking of HBO, did you watch Last of Us? I did. Finally, it was Finally, fire. it was a badass God show, damn dude. It. No gay shit. Dude. No offense if anybody's gay. It was crazy. It was, but it, it was like. Is evil. Eve. It, it was, was good. crazy. It was fire. And then I watched the like the after. I like, love what, watching those little recaps. Yeah, like the like, when the directors like talk about it, like, oh yeah, you you want this and this to happen, but really. We're like we're not. Doing yeah, we're not guys. doing that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was badass. It was super pimp. I liked. I I really like this one. So I'm. I want to see how the finale ends. You got one more, huh? One more. So what is that? Eleven or is ten? Nine. Oh, nine, nine, nine. Yeah, I knew it was yeah. a weird number. All right, one more. Yeah, one more. Let's they see how it goes. They didn't wrap a lot of shit up. They have a uh, kind of. They they kind of do kind of. But is it? They, they're just like it's like going so fast through these like little stories that they're mm-hmm. in. Like they could have, they could have. Like, if they really wanted to, they could have, like, drug these out. Yeah, I, I I don't know what I expect to happen, though. Yeah, I don't know. I never played the game, so I have I no idea. I never finished the game. But, yeah, I'm, I I liked it. I'm excited. I'm super excited. So, shout out that. Shout out that. Um, <laughs> What else was I going to tell you about, bro? Because there's... What else happened? There's some good stuff to announce, actually. Oh, Blackbird. Have you heard of Blackbird? It's on... Blackbeard? Uh, Blackbird. <laughs> It's on um, 
Apple TV. No, I have not. Is it a, it's a show? It's a show, dude. It is so good. It's about um, this TV. guy named Larry Dwayne Hall. He was like a killer, like a serial killer uh-huh. back like back then. They never they 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 caught him for one, one of them. But he said he has twenty two different like, I think I a murders. Bunch. He knows where they're at, and then he he ended up confessing to some. But he like uh, took it back. Like he's like, I was just joking. Just kidding. Oh, um, he's fucking with him. Yeah. So it's a series. So, yeah, it's a really good series. This guy, what is uh, his name? He's a, he's a really good he's actor. Pretty handsome. Dude. Dude, he's a fucking actor, dude. He, okay. It was such a good show. I, I watched liked, the whole thing. Okay, good. In the, two days. The end, it wraps up? It wraps up. It's Ray Liotta's in there? Yeah, dude. It oh, is damn. a good one, bro. Okay, good shit. I, lo- I, I think I really like the serial killer shit. It's really good. I, I, I'm not a huge serial killer, but I am. I don't like like I like if it's like this. Okay. Like if it's like a, it's not like a documentary. Okay. It's like an actual show. I like those better. I like those like way the better. Jeffrey Dahmer one. Yeah, like the Jeffrey Dahmer. It one. was like uh, like a, like, like a production. Act, yeah, like production. Interviews. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Because it wasn't just like a like uh, a documentary where they're talking to the fucking lawyers and people around like it's and just the like, mom and the boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. No, it yeah, wasn't yeah. like that. It, or like Pam and Tommy. I haven't watched it. Oh, it's good, but I. I like that because it was like a like a reenactment. It was it was like a series. Oh really? And then she came out. She's like, I want to tell my story. And then that was like a documentary. And I was like, No, it's lame. Trash. Yeah, I'll watch the movie. I'll watch the series. They're like the first uh, sex tape. Sex tape, huh? Yeah. It's pretty. It says Rogan's the whole thing. It's pretty. It's really good. Really? Yeah, you would like it. I'm gonna have to check it out. It's, good. it's like kind of funny. It's it's good. Um, what else is going on, bro? I don't know, dude. But um, Blackbird, go check it out. I will put a April Fool's stamp of approval on that one okay. for sure. Out of Rotten Tomatoes? Rotten Tomatoes. What check the Rotten Tomatoes on it because it's probably <laughs> fucking trash, but it's a really good show. Also, Madi, bro. Madi? Madi. She messaged me. Mardesia? Mardesia. <laughs> she hit me up and she was like, all right, I have a question. Um, she, she was like, do blind people have to pay for their... Uh, Movie tickets. Movie tickets. <laughs> and I said a thousand percent, yeah. For right? sure, but because you can't prove that they're blind. How do you, how, what do you, you could have, th- I could throw something at you. I know, but like, are you going to have to go through that every I'm sure every you have time? a license that says you're blind, right? I don't know. You, you're like, you, something you has don't to get t- a driver's license if you you're blind. D- but you get a license, you get something, you get an ID. something that says, hey, this fucker's blind. But if you're going to the movies, what are you, you shouldn't be going to the movies. What are you doing going to Don't movies. go. I mean, you want to hear it? No. You could listen and like. No. I wouldn't pay Just like that, that uh, there was like that <laughs> one kid, the they took him to like the uh, soccer game. He just like. And he's just at this, and his dad had like his hands, they had like a, their own like little field. And his dad was just like moving his hands, like where, like where, where the, the ball, where is. the ball was. So that's cool. That's okay, but it's like, damn, that sucks. You can't, you can't watch movies blind or deaf. I get, you can't. They you don't can watch like, them deaf, but you they just don't have subti- put the subtitles on. on the movie at the movies. No, you can't ever go to the movie theater, right? They, unless, no, unless they have they a special have like show. A special, um, don't they have like a special fucking app for that shit now? I'm sure they do, bro. They've got to work something out. There's something. I think blind people have to pay for sure. Oh, that for their was, movies. Yeah. But you don't shouldn't be going there anyway. Should be going there. You shouldn't be going to basketball games, football games. You're, you're just taking up a seat for a person. That what can do see they you. do? What What would they do for fun? Do you think? Uh, <laughs> what do they do for fun? Like, could um, you go bowling? Nope. You maybe. I don't know. It's a rough life, man. It's, it's a tough life. Pool? You can't play pool. You could go in a pool. You could go in a pool. You could probably swim. Can't play. I pool. think I would be fucking scared out of my. You'd be little. sad. All, yeah. I'd be so scared going in a pool blind. Yeah, you. I think you always have to have help. Be help, have somebody with you. Well, I was also talking about Down syndrome the other day, and if like they can like, uh, like on love is on the spectrum, like is it like illegal for them to like date and get married to like yeah. other Down syndrome people? Yeah. And then they like move in together. But, like, don't they always have to have like a guardian? Yeah, is it is it legal for like a someone who a does regular it? person? Yeah, a regular person. Well, on love with the spectrum, some like well, so one of the guys like he's not Downs, but he's got like autism or something. And, but he wants like a regular person. He's like, oh, I don't want to date another <laughs> yeah. fucking weirdo guy. <laughs> he's like, that's, I want something regular. And it's like, that's a show. They're like, yeah, and it's it's kind of sweet and cute, but it's also I get uncomfortable because it's kind of funny. But 
Yeah, I don't know. There's probably rules against like, like us dating them. I don't know, right? Men. Well, <laughs> are those types of people with that? Condition? No, I know what you're saying. <laughs> but like, I think I don't think that. Well, th- they have jobs and stuff. Some of, yeah, some of them are completely fine. Yeah, they're normal. They're not normal. They're pretty normal. I think that they there's, I don't know. There's there's stipulations. There is a little yeah, but still, I do know what you're saying. But would you rather be blind or have Down syndrome? But can see. Definitely Down syndrome. Really? A thousand percent. Yeah. Okay. I can still do everything. You could see it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I don't want to not see. Yeah. See, Chicks are hot. Yeah, you need to see. Yeah. I don't know. You gotta man. see that at least. I gotta see some chicks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's 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 a it's a weird. It's a dicey situation. It's a dicey game. I w- I would. I'm just ha- bl- happy to be blessed with what I have. Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm glad I can see. Yeah, definitely. Do- um, I but I think that I think if you, I think you could pay for like a kid f- ticket for the movies if you're if they have Down syndrome and they're like. I think you get away 20. with the kids ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Senior blind person shouldn't be going. Senior disabled, a disabled one maybe. Is maybe. there a disabled ticket? I don't think so. Probably not. <laughs> but uh, there should be. Speaking of love, pull up that picture I have for you guys. There's this shit going on in <laughs> fucking China, and they're Ew. just dude. They have to be the horniest people on earth. The Chinese. The Chinese, bro. Look at these. Chinese students really release a virtual three D kissing machine that could help long distance. Oh. They're not just kissing those things, guys. And I will say that. Yeah, wh- that is disgusting. Yeah, because what is that? That is horrible. No, they are not. They're literally, they're not just kissing. They're just bored over there in China. They're Bro, just making they stupid are. shit like this. They're How do, crazy is that? Is that pimp shit. or simp? That is simp. You and you are in a long-distance relationship with the love of your life. I'm not doing that. You wouldn't buy that? No, that's the dark hearts. What would you, what would you get? Does it have a camera? I don't need to get Yeah, it has a camera. It's anything. connected to your phone. I need to get a new girlfriend is what I need yeah, to get. Yeah, no long-distance. No long-distance. I'll be too stressed. That's crazy, right? So the camera's on both of you guys? Yeah. That's horrible. Do you think the little lips move I, like when you move? Yeah. No way. Are they... I don't, I don't think they could get it to where it like syncs up. Those also don't even look like lips. Those look like little weird things. I will not be saying. <laughs> you said everything else, <laughs> man. But dude, yeah, that's my job. You that's think crazy. they actually involve tongue action in those as well? Oh, there's definitely oh, tongue action uh, that, and also wiener also action. A lot of other things. That is not chill. They are definitely dipping a ball in there too. Oh yeah, that's horrible. I don't know. I, that's simp. That's simp for sure. I would never. That's what, China like you makes said, weird shit. just find another girlfriend. That's what I got to get. Just I find, need to buy this. Just find another girlfriend because this one is making you kiss a fucking doll, fleshlight, a fleshlight <laughs> on the other side of your phone. <laughs> yeah. That's gross. Yeah I, don't, yeah, I don't like that. No way, right? Uh-uh. No. That's in China? How far away can you be? Yeah, they both look Chinese. <laughs> it's one state, It's right? one little state. It's just one there. little state <laughs> together over there. So big. Um, would you? I want to go to like Japan or Tokyo. I do too, honestly. That'd be cool. They have some cool shit. Like I've watched some stuff on like uh, TikTok. Like their Seven Elevens are pimp. They're like like targets. They're like yeah. Oh, there was one that They're had a whole cheese at, section. Yeah, you just like go in and you could, you could just get like sushi, like really good fucking sushi. Oh, dude, I bet you could get sushi everywhere. Anywhere, bro. <laughs> just at the Seven Eleven, you walk in, get badass sushi. It's probably good. And then they have like these little like you, you like reach into like this ice thing, and it's just like a cup of ice, and then you could buy like these packets that go in it. And it's like coffee, chocolate milk, boba, whatever, Ooh. and you just pour it in your ice, and it's perfect. All the it's like a perfect pour, okay, to the top. They do know what they're doing on. They know what they're doing on. They're living in the in in twenty thirty five. Yeah, they're living a little bit in the future. But also, they also have some really bad ideas too. Yeah, like world domination, like war, war yeah, nukes, (laughs) (laughs) TikTok, TikTok, and taking over the Arctic and thinking (laughs) that there's fucking another world over there. Really. Antarctica, bro. I've been seeing some. some oh, in the Arctic. I've been seeing some uh, conspiracies. Conspiracies in Antarctica. 
that they're they have aliens. That's where the aliens live. Because there's no there's no one lives down there. Nobody can get over there. I I'll believe it. I'll hop on any. I'll hop, I'll on, hop on that. Train. I'll hop on any conspiracy theory <laughs> at this point. Uh, speaking of TikTok and uh, conspiracies, Haley Bieber versus Selena Gomez. Dude. So I've been hearing a lot of this. Shit and hit, I knew you would know about shit it. Shit hit the fan, bro. So Kylie Jenner, too. I should have put Kylie in there. But she's Kendall Jenner. Kylie to, and Haley Bieber are friends. Kylie or Kendall? Kylie. Okay. And they're homies. Okay. And I guess they're being they were like being like mean girls like to Selena Gomez, like talking shit because she has like Lupus. Lupus. I was gonna say polio or something <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Lupus. If you're, if you're getting polio these days, <laughs> you, get, yeah. you mess up something. You along definitely the way. are. You jumped f- from a. Uh, you're doing uh, something sketchy, yeah. You're not doing something. Okay, yeah. yeah. You fucked something. But yeah, up. lupus. So I guess you like. I guess with lupus, you like retain like a bunch of water sometimes. So you get like chunkier. Yeah. And I guess they were like talking shit or like something along those lines. I guess she like does everything Selena does too. Right? Yeah, she does all kinds. Bro, there's all kinds of videos of her like. Saying stuff like the same thing, but also everybody says that shit. Every hot girl is like, "I'm not, I'm not as thin as I used to be when I was 18. I'm not." They, they're just nitpicking shit. Also, Haley Bieber is hotter. Yeah, I don't know. I'm Selena not a Gomez, huge... all that weight went straight <laughs> to her freaking tits. Frickin tits. <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> melons, bro. I don't know where those came from. But I feel she seems nice, and she should be getting. Bored. She seems so nice. So it so. She, I guess they got mad because she became, like, the most followed person on the internet. Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. And then they were, like, throwing shade. I don't know the whole story. But they are being mean girls, I think. But they're being mean girls. And both of them have lost, like, over a million followers. But granted, they still have fucking 300 million oh, really? followers. Well, so I heard that the Hailey Bieber used to be, like, a fan of yeah. Justin. There's a like, vi- she was, like, a crazy girl fan. Yeah, there was a... There was a uh, what's her dad's name? Haley's dad's name. I don't, I don't know anything about Haley Bieber. Alec Baldwin. Alec oh, Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck. Yeah, so, so there's a video of Justin Bieber <laughs> at like shit, Mark. 15 or 16 meeting uh, Haley Baldwin. Or he, he met like Alec Baldwin. They were like just talking. They, uh, I think Alec Baldwin gave him like a fucking book or something. Yeah. And he was like, oh, thanks, man. And then he's like, yeah, this is my daughter. He like introduces him. And she, he's like, hi, nice to meet you, whatever takes a picture with her, and he, like, walks away. And they're, like, doing, like, a documentary on, like, Justin Bieber. And he, like, walks into the other room. He's like, yeah, I met Alec and his, like, daughter or whatever. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, that's no, not... Yeah. Okay, so... She didn't give a fuck. Damn. While he was dating Selena? No, I think he was dating Selena at the time. Okay. And I guess that used to be, like, the it couple for all these, like, Gen Z. Yeah. No, it was. Like... For sure. Yeah, I Wizards of Waverly Place. I watched oh, that was every fire. episode. That was a really good show. Just for Selena Gomez. I don't know. <clears throat> also, Alec Baldwin is gonna go to jail, right? For is he the one that, that shot that guy? Yeah. Is he the one? He's the one, right? I think. Yeah, he shot that lady on that movie set. On the set. On the set. Her. Wait, but it wasn't his fault. I know, but also he was like the produ- the producer on it. Like he. It had to go through a bunch of like vetting processes for that gun to fuck up, but also he should know. I don't know. It's That's dicey. Cra- it's I don't think he should super go to, dicey. I don't think he should go to jail, but somebody needs to get fired. Oh yeah, but something crazy. needs to happen. All right, I'll go team Selena. I'm team Selena. Let's see what you guys said. Yeah, we asked the. Also, let us know in the comments. Yeah, what are you guys thinking? I think. And then Justin Bieber's not saying shit. About Nothing. This. He's like, they, so he posted something for like his birthday, and like a like a bunch of pictures. And the only picture he has with uh, Haley, her like she's facing the other way of the camera, and he just looks pissed off. Like that's the only picture. And then I guess he has like a Selena Gomez like tattoo, or something. And he like posted a picture. And that's like the tattoo showing. So they're like, what oh, is he doing? He's being cryptic. Oh, all my this God. bullshit. Yeah, he's probably just fueling the fire. Just fueling the fucking and guess, fire, bro. Uh, Haley Bieber or Selena has a tattoo behind her ear, and Haley got the same one. Oh, yeah. The J. So she's like obsessed with her. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, 88% of you guys are Team Selena. Damn. 12% are Haley. Let's see. 
I voted for <laughs> you Haley. You are Haley. <laughs> Re, they're all dudes. Except Re. Yeah, all dudes. That's hilarious. That's just dudes saying like, just fuck. Who don't even I know don't what's even going care. on. Yeah, they don't even yeah, know. Yeah, don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think yes. I think Selena's shout out. Fine. Shout out Team Selena and her Malins. I'm here for it. I'm here. Yeah. If if uh, if Haley grows a rack, then I'll vote B Team Haley again. Yeah. Same here. I'm just kidding. Um. Okay. Horoscopes, bro. Oh yeah. We've talked about this. We've covered this a couple times. Pimp or sip on the horos- horoscopes. I think sip. I I. I think it's they're like fun. I don't think you should be basing your whole personality off of this and be like, "Oh, you're such a Capricorn or that's so yeah. Scorpio of you," or like. But also, the co-star of the app is they're frauds. They're frauds. It's just all just like cookie cutter bullshit that they just send out every day. Okay, I do have a question. Do you have to go to school to like write horoscopes? Do they just find like a little bruja that writes them? Like, who's writing the horoscopes? Like, who, is there an AI? Like, what, how do we... Who started this? Yeah. I think it's like, I think that there's a team of people that just write bullshit. And just let, and just people let, fall into it, the trap. So there's not like a horoscope, like, school. I went to fucking school. Like, I have my mas- master's in, in the moon. writing, yeah, moon <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Do you guys know about horoscope shit? I don't know about it. Not really. Yeah, let me let me look it up. Who writes this shit? Say, type in how do you learn horoscopes? <laughs> yeah, like who are the, these articles? Like who? Who writes? I think the people horoscopes? of CoStar got like astrologers study for years in order to achieve an expert level of skill and understand understanding. There's a range of qualifications in everything from astrology to tarot to palmistry at schools like Frank's. So you do go to school for it. 10 steps in becoming an astrologer. Learn basic facts. You need to learn the basics of astrology. Study your own chart. The most, effect, the most effective way to understand astrology. Would terms. you date a chick who was an astrologer getting paid, no. well, paid big bucks? Okay, now we're talking. We're talking big bucks <laughs> to write these fraudulent things. Or divinatory practices. This is for sure the dark arts, and I will say that. Um, I've been messing with the dark arts on Hogwarts a little bit. (laughs) I've been messing with the dark arts a little bit on Hogwarts. That's okay. Big dark arts guy. Big dark arts? Yeah. Big Slytherin? Big Slytherin guy. I think that they, if they're getting paid half a mil, I'll listen to it. I'll listen to it. You can tell me (laughs) whatever whatever is going on. I'll be whatever you want. I will tweet that the Gatorade is Mercury. I will moon rising your sun Sun down there. My tsunami sun. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll believe in it. My chick can do that. Honestly. But if you're just a chick. We need an astrology person to come on. No. I I want someone to come on and school us a little bit because I have no fucking idea. But the more they say it. The more it'll make sense, and I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I, I get it, but it, it, if there's like, do you get the it? Science though? behind it is like, oh, like we're, like the the world is seventy five percent water, and the moon fucks with the water and the tides. Like, so people who you don't think we're like ninety percent water, so like why would the moon affect the water in our bodies and our when we're born, the you're day we're a born. big astrology guy over here. You know what <laughs> no, you're talking about. I, no, I don't. <laughs> you know exactly See, you just what believe you're me. talking about. You believe me, and I don't know what I'm talking about. You so know imagine what you're somebody who really about, believes. Bro. I want someone on here to make me a believer. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you that I've heard some of the the uh, like merits behind it, and I'm and like, then they 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 take their rocks out at full moon. And I I don't do I don't like the tarot cards. Like, no, that's scary that, stuff. Well, that's what they she said. That's the dark arts. That's tarot. dark arts, dude. Tarot cards, palmistry, psychics. That's and that's dark arts. Palm Street. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> palm readings. Palm readings, bro. Yeah. I you don't ever know. like um, one of my friends in elementary school? He's like, let me read your palm, and he would like. If you have the straight line. Yeah, he would like fuck around. He's like, yeah. He's like, you're gonna have three kids, and you're gonna have a pull. And it spit in people's fucking <laughs> hands. Oh, I'll smack that dude. Kid if he spit on you. Dude, I know. I don't know. I think it's interesting to kind of like 
integrate into other beliefs and what you say. I don't think that your personality. Believe in what you want to believe in. Yeah. Is what I say. As long as it doesn't hurt people. If it makes you happy, go for it. But don't yell at me. But also don't yell at me because I'm fu- I was born in April. I'm a fucking ram. Yeah, we're also both we're also both pretty different but similar. Yeah. We're pretty similar actually. We're pretty similar but, but I've been, same same but different. But still same. I think that your life experiences and like mental dis- histories and a lot of things go into it, not just the day and time that you were born. Yeah. It's going to affect how you act. Yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, you have a kid on this date, and you're like, "Fuck, he's fucked for life." Yeah, he's gonna be a cheating sociopathic whore. Yeah, you're like, "Oh, he's so toxic because he's a a scorpion." Whatever, Leo, whatever it is. Yeah, Um, we know like four of them. Sixty-seven percent of you guys said simp. Okay. Thirty-three percent said pimp. Look at the pimps. Probably a bunch of pimps are all girls. (laughs) All girls. Simps are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven girls. There's seven girls on here. The rest are dudes. So it was not close. It was. Yeah, I don't know. Not really that close. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if. Believe what you want, but don't ever yell at me about it. Facts. I'll listen a little bit, but then when it's like, well, you're this is, this is why I'm doing something. It's not because of that. Yeah. But um, we are Aries, so that's good. Yeah, bad. we're... I was like, why do you have a Dodge Ram on your, <laughs> <laughs> on your leg, huh? Um, camel's humps, bro. So, you my know... Hump, remember my hump. Remember you were little? My hump, my hump. You were little and you learned about camels? And they're supposed to carry water in those humps, right? Yeah. They're just... Those humps are just fat. Are you sure? But they don't have to... They don't ha- I don't think we can get water from them. Yeah, you can't cut it open and drain them. Good, they'll get water out of it. But them. I think that they can retain water for like months. Really? Months? I don't think that they have, they, I think they can survive in the desert without drinking for a long time. Where, is a cam- where does a camel, like, are they just like out in like the wild? Yeah, yeah, yeah and I, or I think that they're like, like you can like have them like they're like the horses of the Middle East, right? But are they just out in the wild, just like walking around, just being a camel? I like think they're doing kind of camel like the, stuff. They could be the deer of the sand. You think? Like, like, yeah, like the just out like, in the Sahara, like the wolves and the elk of Egypt. I gotta look this up. But usually they chill with the people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've never seen a camel in the wild. Yeah, we, they don't grow in an Albuquerque. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that is true. Have you ever rode one? I think they used to at, ride at them the at the zoo. zoo. Yeah. yeah, I rode one at the zoo one time. Also, I don't know if the, how chill it is to ride elephants and camels. I would probably ride both of them. Yeah. It says here a camel can go seven months without drinking a drop of water. What? But in desert animals, they spend most of their time traveling to desert areas and while moving in such hard conditions without any intake of food or water, it may cause them to lose half their body weight. Damn, look at that. That's the Jeez. Selena Gomez of camels <laughs> right there, bro. <laughs> That really is. God damn, look at the humps on that bad boy. So what is in there? Is it just like a seat? Dude, for it's people? like a just that's why people automatically are like, we could just sit on these fuckers and ride them. <laughs> because there's a built-in seat. Dude, he's got a hemorrhoid or something too in the that bag. That thing has a built-in <laughs> seat, bro. I think that Do they, camels they, they, exist in the wild, bro? No. Ask if the water is in their humps. The only true truly wild camels that still exist are Bactrian camels, these herds survive in the Gobi Desert in China. In Mongolia and China. Wild camels, bro. Yeah, see, I think they're like the... They're endangered. Ooh. Really? Yeah, endangered. Endangered. Yeah, dude. But yeah, you guys been fucking riding them for years. Yeah, you guys been fucking years. around with them. But horses aren't endangered. No, I think there's more horses than camels. There's a lot of horses. And cami. Camels? Would you eat horse? I was thinking about that on The Last of Us. I was like, just eat that fucker. They did. They pulled it in there to, to eat it. And then there was... And then they were crazy, like, crazy shit people. in there. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> After we spoil it. <laughs> um, it says here, camel's humps do not store water. That was, See? That's what we're saying. The fib. 
Instead, camels use the humps to store energy-rich fat deposits. So that's why they can keep they're going. They're frauds, bro. No, they're, they're doing... Camels are frauds. We, we made it up about them. They didn't say... They never said hey, we store hey, water we back store water here. in these fuckers. We're, yeah, we're, we're full, we're full of shit. Seven months? Could you imagine seven months with no, no liquid in your body? Yeah. It's not meant... That's not our... It's not, we're not meant for the camel life, dude. Camels are still incredibly efficient in the amount of water that they use per day, which is why... We, why they are able to go nearly a week without drinking. This is partly due to the unique shape of their blood oh, cells. Oh, now it's a week. Well, it said seven months, but... Yeah, I don't know. Shout out camels, though. The Bactrian camel. That's that big one with the... Yeah, with them big old humps. Those big old <laughs> back titties. <laughs> Demystified. Dang, so it was kind of like a... It was... It was, it was a fraud. They're, they're frauds. They're frauds. Or we're, we... Well, we, you can't we just like frauds. fucking cactus. You can't just get water from a cactus. We were... Ta- hold on. But they're like the camels. They could just survive out there. Right? So we think yeah, that it has water in can. them. <laughs> I know. Do cactuses have water in them? Yes. But you can't pull the water out and drink no, it. Yeah. Like if I came up to a cactus, I'm not going to be able to drink it. No. It just but holds water really fruit, well. That purple fruit. What's the that? cactus fruit. I don't know what it's called. Prickly, prickly pears, dude. Those are so fucking good. Ooh, and they make good margaritas too. Do they? Prickly pear margarita. I pulled one off. I pulled one off of a cactus when I was uh, golfing one day. You ate it? I didn't I, know prickly pears I were part bu- of. Cactus. Me and Jerry busted it open and ate it. It was bomb. Really? Yeah. Like sweet. It was sweet. They can, they can vary from slightly sweet to syrupy sweet. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Dang. I was surprised. Just out there in the wild, just doing stuff, you know. Cactuses are scary. They'll fuck you up if you fall in one. We talked about cactuses last week, I think. We did. It was at the yeah, end. Yeah, it was right at the end of it. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Um, yeah. Fuck all. I, fuck horoscopes. Fuck cactuses. Camels. No, shout out camels. Shout out camels. But not shout out you guys taking advantage of these camels. Not shout out riding them. I don't know. I think I would ride, I would ride an elephant. But if in the wild, you need a, or in the, if you're stranded in the desert and you find a camel, he'll save your life. They also don't go very fast, though. They're very They're, slow. Yeah? Slow. I think they I can walk They have to run faster. pretty fast. Can you guys they type run in cactus fast. running? Not a cactus. <laughs> I a mean... A camel. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Okay. My bad my a bad. camel speed, bro? They have to be pretty fast. Yeah. Camels. Camel humps. Speed. <laughs> There's horses. No, they're Generally, out. a horse is faster than a camel. Camels are a horse can, a horse can run up to 55 miles an hour. Damn. While a camel can only run about 35. Still pretty fast. Hey, hey that's speeding in a, in a school zone. That is. <laughs> Definitely. That's speeding in a school zone. <laughs> How much can a, like a cheetah run? That's like 100 miles. I don't know that. Fast. I think 65. 65 sounds like a good number. I think the, the highest... 70 to 75. Damn. And I think the fastest person... Look, look. Oh, they, oh, they, they haul go, ass. They go quick. Okay, okay. Is, it, is this a race? Damn. Also, bro, I have a question once this video is over. <laughs> Dude. Don't forget. I have a... All right. Damn. All right, turn the video off, guys. Thank this you. is a real question right here. How the fuck do people get into, like, these sports... Out there, like camel jockeying, horse jockeying. You have to be very small. You have to be small. And then there was another one I saw, and they're like riding on the back of the horses in like a carriage. Oh, yeah. Like, like the Trojans and shit. Like, what? How they're like laying down. They're like laying down. Like, where (laughs) do, where do the, where do you, you know what? You grow up and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna, I could do that. I think it goes, I think it could be a generational thing. It has to be. But also, because horse riding, even like, because horse races are a big thing, gambling. Yeah, horse ride like horses in general, like those type of horses are so expensive. Yeah, they're bred for like, they're like millions of dollars. Yeah, like their sperm is worth like hundreds of thousands oh, yeah. of dollars. Because it breeds just champions. Yeah, just fucking, it's just champions. The Trojan sperm. one, that was crazy. If they're in the ca- carriage behind it, not even like whipping it or yeah, like just riding, riding it, it. Just, just letting it ride. Yeah. Like, go take it away. But what, how do you get into these sports? I don't know. I don't even, I have like no idea. Like, what, 
there, I guess you're right. It has to be a generational thing. Like, it has to be, like, you're a part of it. Because even, like, horseback riding. Yeah, that's, it's like a family thing. Okay, I don't know. That is, is kind of pimp, too, <laughs> though. Is, is wearing a tank top. He's wearing a tro. He's go- yeah, he's, he's wearing the he's gladiator. Yeah, he's costume. a gladiator. <laughs> Are they just racing him? Well, I see, because that can, like, help him help you turn and stuff. I thought they were like... No, the other... Like, I, like a little, like I have a, seen that one. Like a, little, like a hammock. Yeah. And behind it. What, like a little uh, canoe thing. Yeah. With wheels. I have seen the, that one too. So it says to learn learn riding horses, learn how to ride horses as soon as possible can start you a career as a jockey. Start a career in the equestrian field. Attend jockey school so there's a school to go. But people Complete probably say the same. People probably say the same thing about like people who do like rodeos, like bull riding. They're like, "How the fuck did you just decide to ride a bull?" I think it's definitely like a lifestyle thing. Like, yeah, like you have to be grown up going to the rodeo. Like, even you also have to be out of your mind to go and do that shit because it's the most craziest every thing in the world. weekend. Yeah, just the craziest thing in the world. It's cra- and you like probably don't want a lot of money unless you're the best. I remember Jimmy on Yellowstone was like, "This is pimp. I'm good at it." Oh, when he was riding the Broncos. When he was, when he was getting, when he that's was doing crazy. That. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's one. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> and also, why is the horse well, what, blindfolded? Dude, what is that called? Is this, does it say right there? What is the caption? Yeah, why is it blindfolded? <laughs> <laughs> it's just running blind? It's called a pace race. Chariot race. Chariot race. Oh, yeah. That, and that dude's not doing anything. He's a little hammock. <laughs> He's in like a little yeah. He's in like tiny a little, seat. Yeah, and look at those wheels, dude. Those are like but why bicycle is the horse wheels. Blind? I don't know. No, I think it might just be. <laughs> it just evens out the field, <laughs> the playing field. Like you know, what, you're gonna fucking no, lay down, are, and this guy's gonna blinders. be blind. Let's figure out what happens. Those are actually blinders. What they do is they put them on uh, some horses. That way, they don't get spooked by something running beside them, and they're only looking forward. Oh, so it kind of takes oh, out. Yeah, the, okay. That's it what takes out the side. For. Tunnel vision. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's a lot of money in that horse horse shit, bro. Dude, that that, that horse shit. <laughs> that horse shit, literally. Because <laughs> like, like when you go and bet on horses, you can't be like, you can't know, like, oh, Sea Biscuit's gonna win this one, and he's the, the seventh seed, right? It's kind of just luck. It's luck, bro. They don't know. They no one knows, right? No, not even the guy on the fucking horse knows. <laughs> Right? Yeah. There's no way. It's not like sports where you're like, oh, you could know like the statistics of his, how many yards that he's ran or how good he is. Hey, do they have any accidents that happen on these? We have play some, yeah. play some, oh, just yeah. play something bad that Peels happens. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we, uh, I actually did that stuff before with all the film. You rate. did this? Yeah. Well, no, I didn't write in it. No, oh. I filmed it. I was like, bro, you're perfect. Wait, wait, why weren't you, why were you no. talking earlier? I, I'm too fat for that. <laughs> But Wait. yeah, so I have like pictures of stuff of gnarly, like bad crashes of stuff. Yeah, play somebody getting injured. Yeah, play a crazy <laughs> video. <laughs> Fuck, dude, horses are awesome. They're like, like filming them. I guess is one of the hardest things to do. Like to put them in like Yellowstone or like in, in the Last of Us. Why? Because they're you can't. You have to have like horse trainers there all the time, and I don't know. I like I love those scenes on on. Yellowstone, where they're like just like ri- like yeah. riding through the mountains, or like, like they're taking care of them and actually doing the cowboy shit. So I think it's ha- really hard to film because they're just it's like a specialty. I don't know. Horses are pretty cool. They are, but but uh, I don't know if I've told you this story. My dad used to have two horses. Really? When I was little, and um, I got bucked off of one of them, mm. dude. Scary. When I was little, and I was riding. Uh, or no, we were riding around. It's crazy because I was little. I was probably five, and it's still like such a vivid memory in my brain that I like. I remember every detail. Like we were, we went and took two socks out for a ride. Was one of our horses two socks? Two socks because he had two socks. Oh. And uh, we took him out for a ride, and we're just like going around the ditches in the South Valley, and we come around one area, and my dad's sunglasses are on the floor, and I'm like, hey, aren't those your sunglasses? I like tell my dad. He's like, oh yeah. So he like gets off the horse, leads me on, and he's like reaching down to like grab his like sunglasses, and two socks like starts like backing up because he could hear Lacey, the girl horse, uh-huh. like at home, 
and because we're getting close. And right when my dad like bends down, he like like jumps over and turns around and takes off, and I'm on the back. Oh my god! Flying, and so my dad's freaking out, and I I guess he like I get out of his sight. And I'm, like, sitting there, like, trying to, like, figure out what to do. Yeah, what are you going to do? Dude, I'm five years old, bro. <laughs> I'm just trying to hang on. And he whips around a corner, and I just fly off. Boom. And I guess my dad was, like, running, like, trying to figure out where I was at. He was, like, hoping I wasn't in the ditch or something. And yeah. I, like, get up. Or trampled. Yeah, I, like, get up, and I'm, like, and I'm, like, two socks bucked me off. Like, I'm all mad. And he's, like, ch- checking every bone in my body, yeah. making sure I'm okay. You don't remember getting hurt? No, I wasn't hurt at all. I get up, we walk back, and sure enough, two socks, two socks is right there with, with Lacey. His chick. Yeah, with his chick. Okay. And my dad walks up and fucking smokes him. Boom! In the face. Yeah. <laughs> smokes him, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, I remember every detail of that, what happened right there, vividly. Damn, I'm glad you didn't get hurt. Dude. I'm always scared of, like, getting, of them, like, because they'll kick you if you fuck with them from behind. Yeah. They'll, like, break your neck. Like they could kill you if they just. And then in high you. in high school, my my dad and my uncle bought a bunch of calves, so in high, uh, like small like uh, cows. Oh, okay. like oh, calf, calf, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and we were I was like probably sixteen, and we went out to like my uncle's ranch, and we were out there, and they were like, "All right, we gotta like brand them and and like clip them and stuff." So it was me and my buddy Bertha was were there. And they were like, all right, we're going to rope them. You guys got to wrestle them down. Oh, my God. So we're sitting there wrestling these big ass, because they're. That's cowboy shit. 300, 400, 500 yeah. pound cows. They're little. They're little still but cows. Cows. Yeah. <laughs> so we're wrestling these things down, dude. We have to like hold them down while they brand them and cut it. Do you ear. tie their feet? No, we're just, just body weight. Dude. Oh, shit. That's cowboy shit. It was cowboy shit. It was pretty Damn. cool. Yeah. That's, I love when they do that on the LSO too. They fucking lasso their feet and then they. My just, dad used to do that. Dang. He used to be he's a be a roper. That's awesome. Yeah. That's sick. I think the cowboy life is pimp, but it's not for me. So you're not I'm not meant for <laughs> skinny jeans well, and <laughs> Ralph Lauren skinny <laughs> jeans and no boots. I don't I don't know if you're you're made for it. I will need to get some boots. You need some boots, bro. Fuck. You you definitely need some boots. Like All right, if anybody wants to buy me now. stuff for my birthday. It's been too long. Cowboy boots. You need cowboy boots. I think, well, and then I'm wondering, like, how much do those guys get paid that like, they're in, like, the bunkhouse on Yellowstone, like, the Cowboys? They, and it's I don't know. not a lot. It's probably not a lot, but it's a, they're just, it's, they're not spending any money. True. And, but they, and they do it for the rest of their entire life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's most, no way out. Well, they can't do anything else. No, I think it's guys that are like, well, we don't have, like, anything else we want to do. And we're good at this, and we get to stay here for free. Free meals. And I'm sure they get paid, like, the Yellowstone one. Those guys get paid I don't pretty think good. So, they have to get paid pretty good, bro. I guess. Because they do whatever the fuck. Yeah. I think it's a, I think it's a very it's a very specific lifestyle for a specific kind of dude. Yeah. Very s- simple life. But it's pimp, I think. It's cool. Cowboy, cowboy shit is pimp. But I think that's the same thing like we were talking about. We don't understand these other sports. Just like they don't understand that stuff. Agreed. Agreed. Right? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense now, I guess. It, make, it checks out. Do you have any crashes on those <laughs> those, those any, cards? Any, what is that called? Uh, ca- what is it? A carriage? What did you call it? Oh, you want to hear a carriage b- riding How about wipeouts? Morgan Wallen? I haven't even You listened. haven't listened to the album? I put a couple on Shuffle Dude, Dude, but I haven't had time. Dude, it's a... Every song's a banger. Really? What are your, some of your favorites? Uh, Sunrise. There's a lot of them, dude. There's a bit, but that one's one of my favorite. But, dude, this song, they made an EDM for you. No, they did not. They made an EDM song. He didn't make it, but they made an EDM song for you. <laughs> for me. <laughs> EDM. EDM. <laughs> Michael Jackson. This is right up your alley. Right here. You love it too. This is right up your alley. The song reminds me of Troy. Shout out Troy. Is that on TikTok? This is on his album. TikTok. I right, said it to me. But right up my alley. Right up your alley. If there's bro. BPMs in it. If, if Dude, that's some boots right and cats. Up the... Ooh, boots and cats. Yeah, boots and that's horses. 
Fruits but Morgan's, hey, Morgan's Shout out Morgan Wallen. entire entire new album is banger, dude. Thirty six songs. Thirty six songs. I listened. I've listened to every song. I don't know any person that has made that many songs. I think it's like a or an album. Yeah, who was like the last one? Because even I'm trying to think of like a rap album that was even that long. Because there's there's like, like even twenty songs are kind of pushing it. It's a lot. Because you kind of have to have. But then some I was battles. also like. Um, like Kanye came out with like that new album like a few years ago and it had like 12 songs. Yeah. And I was like mad. Like only 12 songs? See, like only 12. What the f- well, the problem, I think, I need to listen to them, but like with, like a lot of, even in like TV series, they have like, there's some, like t- TV series like back in the day, like Smallville or something, or ones that had like, they came out every week and there was like 20 episodes per season. There's like 12 seasons. Like some of the episodes aren't the best because they're like filler episodes. Yeah. So I think people don't do that, like, big... I'm sure Morgan Wallen, they're 90% bangers. Bangers, But, like, some dude. of them, like, you kind of have to have some in there that you know are better than the others. Yeah. But, I don't know. Maybe it's not the I case. think that would be hard because I'm sure they're writing a bunch. hundreds of songs. Oh, yeah. And then just to, like, bring it down to, like, 36 was probably, like, a tough... To narrow it down. You know what I'm saying? Is there some with Hardy and the boys on there? Yeah, Hardy. Ernest. Ernest. Ooh. Yeah, he had a couple with Hardy. I think, I don't know if I saw one with Ernest... He had one with Eric Church. There's some Ooh. good ones, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'll play it right now. Big country guy. I'll play it after this. Huge country guy. Are, is there any uh, Riley Green? Or uh, did you go to that? I didn't go to that. That was Saturday during happened? the fight. What is there anything other country guys? Luke Bryan. Um, Eric Church is coming. He's Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean's coming. Oh, Jason we have Aldean's to. Co- I but, love Jason Aldean right. in October. Okay, okay. Yeah, we got to go. No, there, there's a really good uh, country lineup this year. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be really good. We got to request off. I love a good country. Me too. Concert? I, I need to have boots by then. You need to have boots very quick. <laughs> I'm tired of us going to Dirty River and you're like, are these chill? And they're fucking they're like boots from fucking like, Harry Potter. <laughs> 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 they're fucking Quidditch boots. They're Quidditch boots, bro. <laughs> Laced up. I know exactly which ones you're talking about. <laughs> They really are. Like, I got him in Diagon Alley. Damn. Oh. It'll come. But It'll come back. Yeah. What? A, what's a beer smoothie? You, you, it was your beet smoothie. Five. Oh, beet smoothie. You Fuck. put that in there. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Damn. No, but I am excited for the live show coming up. I think it's just going to be a normal one, just us. April 1st, yeah. Bring it back to our roots. Bring it back to our roots. Showed up in boots. Saturday night, April 1st. Come chill with us. We're time. gonna be on a we're actually gonna do oh. a podcast in the morning that day with uh with uh uh Tim Baca. He owns the high the uh fuck, I'm an idiot. It's like the hydro bar, it's like Hongan water. We're gonna do like a little podcast I in totally the day. I totally forgot about that. Me too. And right also now. we have uh we're gonna be on the news. We're gonna be on the Good Morning Albuquerque. Good or morning Albuquerque. KRQE. Yeah. So we'll keep you guys posted for that. That one's That'd uh, be sweet. the third. Okay. April 3rd. Okay. Sweet. That's going to be cool. That's a Monday? It's a Monday morning, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going to have to get the day off or a half day or something. But yeah, yeah that's going to be pretty sweet. I'm yeah, excited gonna, for we're that. We're going to talk about the, the golf tournament, talk about the pod. Talk about the podcast. That'll be some good exposure. Yeah, that's, that'll definitely. Be sweet. That's going to be cool. We got to watch our mouths on there. We can't. Yeah, no, no. We, no. Yeah, we have to keep it chill. Ooh, I was thinking we should wear uh, April Fool's hoodies. We should wear our merch, right? It, yeah, not the. Not, it's probably gonna be summer, it, right. like warm by but then. But not. We sh- or should we dress up or dress just? Like I don't this? know. I think we should have some brand. We should probably shit. look nice. Yeah. You guys should wear shirts. tuxedos. Huh? Tuxedos. Yeah. Tuxedo t-shirts. Okay. No. Nope. Says you're formal, but you like to party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like my Jesus party. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. First annual golf tournament. Make sure again. you guys check into that. It's April twenty second. April twenty second. Make sure you guys get your teams right away. It's going to be the literally one of the biggest tournaments this year. Um, we have a bunch of sponsors already that that have came in. We appreciate you guys so much for that. If you want to be a sponsor? Reach out. We're going to be going to some local places here soon too. Yeah, there's no cap on sponsors. You guys, we will be taking sponsors until April twelfth. Um, it's so, gonna be fun. We want we want as many people a part of this. Yeah, as possible. we want you guys a part of this. It's a great cause, so that's it's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. Bro. Me too, dude. A lot of exciting things coming up these next yeah. like six weeks. I'm stressed out, but I'm, I'm excited. Really, that's exactly how I am. I'm like a, like a fun stressed out. Yeah, like exciting. Yeah. Because yeah, we've never done something like this, so 
Especially like this magnitude, like it's gonna be crazy, dude. Yep, I'm but excited. Bro. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be cool. Super, a bunch of exposure, but um, we appreciate you guys for all the love and support. That is episode 93. We love you guys so up. much. Thank you. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below, play the music. Mm -hmm.